not a most efficient tool this this uh, this uh, OBS it's uh, really easily to control one from the internet I'll tell you really and I am just moving this with the mouse with just with a cursor that's all I'm doing and again I'm doing this for the second time anyhow uh, what I want to talk to you today is about something like this here this is about this stuff here this is Miami Police Union posts picture of chief using the same gesture that got cops suspended um, and I do want to make sure I am a video recording all this stuff so they suspend him is a kind of gesture they got uh, cops suspended and now they've seen he's doing some kind of funny stuff but he, by the way guys do you, do you know what this is this gets this kind of signals this kind of stuff do you, do you know what this means and I'm asking you because I don't I don't know what this is I I see it now and probably within because uh, I don't even see this stuff here in Slovenia you don't see this often uh, in the US when I was I didn't know what what the hell is this thing what, what is this see I don't know but if you read down here it says that this is some kind of a signal uh, that's actually associated with a white power extremist groups you know, and this guy, this guy is from Miami. Both police officers were involved in Miami Kiotra case. Both of them, Miami police officers, quite few of them, uh, turned against me, accusing me of all kinds of stuff. It got situation got really out of control. Uh, but uh, some people did not. Uh, didn't go along with it despite everything the uh, situation was pretty bad um, both of these guys maybe the only ones they, they wouldn't go along with it okay they just uh, did stick on my side I'm gonna say like this All right. Um, not going along with me was a very very easy thing to do it was a fashion Seriously, I'm telling you because my relatives, relatives of mine, knowing me, who I was, where I was, where I am coming from, um, per fashion did turn against me. Literally, they knew that I had nothing to do with it. Uh, but it was just something that, a culture that, I guess it forced them to associate uh, with the people against me and I'm talking about the broader family I'm not even talking about parents here and that was crazy anyways but broader family it was just something that um, it didn't look for you not to go against me basically so they they would take the side against me um, I guess that I really was uh, that I really looked like a helpless uh, case totally helpless case no. anyhow I did talk to you about about the memorials about the partisan memorials how it all started here in 95 no. in 95 when I was brought I totally declined to have anything to do with uh, saying anything against uh, going against the partisans I'm in the partisan family it didn't make no sense I would go against the partisans. It didn't make absolutely any kind of sense, any sense at all. Why should I? Um, I laughed at this Chetniks, Serbians. Uh, I laughed at the uh, Russian KGB in the face. I told them, you, you're never gonna. They would have had a company, Slovenian police here, UDPA, supporting them. You're never gonna. What are you gonna? You know, and this confidence that there there is nothing you can do. This problem accompanied me then 
throughout so many years, decades afterwards, to follow up on me. Uh, it, it, it turned out to be a real problem, that confidence, that there is nothing anyone can do to you. How can anyone do anything to you when you have nothing to do with it, right? How? How? I mean, it's something you're not going to prove. Someone like myself that something I never said, something I got nothing to do with it, that I am part of something. Well, it went basically from fuck you and fuck your partisans and memorials and whatever, like this, because that's it wasn't once that happened, it was not twice, not three times that I was brought there, humiliated and harassed in between. A side that harassed presented themselves as partisans, presented themselves as a legitimate, a legitimate party. Uh, you would start to have every reason to not like these guys. No, one thing sure led to another, and before you know, I was told that I was video recorded and this, and then really the audience started to broaden. More and more people came to uh, view me, to pay uh, them respect, yell at me, uh, and spit in me, and hit me, and all kinds of stuff in front of this uh, partisan memorials. Um, I. The way I felt is that if you are what I stated right now, um, why should I be oh, apologizing to anybody? And if these guys are right, knowing that they are lying, knowing that they are wrong, why wouldn't I give them a peace of mind and confirm that everything they say is in fact truth? But why the hell not? I did so. I wanted them to feel, feel um, I'm not going to say in peace, but I wanted them to feel uh, everything absolutely you say about me is real. There's only one fucking problem. You can't prove this. Because for you to prove this shit, you have to do this stuff in real life. Until you can prove me this through the court, through the police case or something, there's nothing you can do to me. That was a serious, serious blunder from my side. They created a world parallel to reality. That's called them just as I stated, based on which they built more and more and more lies. But along this world of lies that it built, There was a sector of people, and these people were of different races. They were not only Polish and uh, Slovenian and Czech and Slovak people, they were yellow. Chinese, unlikely, they were Asians. This made no sense to me, they were black. Some were black, some were Roma people, and there were even Jews that expressed a support for the Nazism, for the fascism. My supporters The truth is that um, they were my supporters. They really, really were my supporters. Except, except that um, uh, this is just a video uh, sound remix from Booster Written uh, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna put it this way that this guy here this is a Mussolini 
This is a Mussolini. Mussolini was an Italian version of Adolf Hitler. This, is this guy here. For whom I have to say that I knew nothing. I, I knew nothing about who this guy was. When they were demonstrating me videos in the U.S. about this guy and the Renke Ultra, because in real life I didn't give a shit about the Mussolini. I didn't go to to United States uh, of America. I didn't immigrate to the United States of America to um, to admire Mussolini or Hitler or whatever. I went to the U.S. to have a new life, to start new life. That was why I went to the U.S. I wanted a new life. I wanted to become a police officer, have a family, a normal life. You understand? And so it was your friend, your friend. And I was like, Andre Mkiotr, who, where, where my friend, where? And they would show me Mussolini, your friend. Don't you know him? And I said, my friend, fuck. I said, no, no, I don't know my friend. I don't know my friend. Who is my friend? I did. Your friend. Shit. We went like this for hours and hours, day after day. Your friend. Fucking friend. Who is your friend? Don't you know this guy? They they showed the picture of the Mussolini. I said, no, no, no. But don't you remember him? No. No, I don't. I don't remember him. I don't remember him. It was a lot, a lot, a lot on the MKH. Do, do you remember this guy? Do you remember when we got here? Do you remember what happened to this house? This is what was all the time. What did change in this property? When was this house built? When was that feature added to the house? What about this lady? Do you remember her? How about this guy? Do you remember him? Who is this guy? And so on. So when they, they were showing me the picture of Mussolini, I knew nothing about who the fuck Mussolini was, man. Who the fuck was a Mussolini? And on top of that, this guy was my friend. I only knew Mussolini from books in a school, from the history books. Him and his lady. That's all I knew. Other than that, I... I I, I'm going to repeat to you, I didn't go to the U.S. so that I can learn who the Mussolini is. This was not the idea. My Mussolini was... Uh, my Adolf Hitler were on a green papers. I was a Washington, right? George Washington. Dollars. Those are my Mussolinis, my Hitlers. I didn't go to the U.S. so they can learn about Mussolini, about Hitler and stuff. So I knew about who the Hitler was with the mustaches and the haircut. I knew what the Nazism was, but I didn't. I didn't go there to study this shit. Now this this is real. Uh, you can ask some people. You can ask Booster Ritten about this stuff. I told you I had people very very from very unlikely backgrounds that they became my supporters that didn't make fucking sense man none whatsoever that one Jew would go out there and start to pledge support for Hitler for for uh, for Mussolini and stuff that's impossible I um until probably 2010. Actually, until I returned back here, 2010, that's, I, I really lost my mind. 2011, I started to hate the whole thing because of this lies. They started to, it was a fashion that they started to doubt about everything. They talked about the moon landing, fake moon landing, and you know, this injustice, I started to think about that 
really that, that the world is everything is fake really that everything is lie I start to believe everything really is a lie my world definitely was a lie the people that were doing this shit to me was this was shit was lie this supporters of mine I know this supporters of mine I know so they were angels I know without absolutely any doubt in my mind these people had absolutely nothing to do with the Nazism nothing to do absolutely nothing to do with the fascism even if they did go out there and I have no fucking idea what they did they might have done something stupid that costed them life in fact I believe that they did started to do stupid shit so that it would cost them life deliberately so that it would cost them life you understand and that's why I know that these were the best people ever in this world and I don't care what he did I don't care if they if when I came they started to salute Hitler or whatever they did on the MK I don't care because I know that they did this to protest a violence I know they did this because they were disgusted they didn't do this because they would support Nazism or fascism they did this to protest human suffering which they have seen in me I told you at least 10,000 death threats was issued to me and when it comes to physical harm and all kinds of stuff like this it probably goes I don't know maybe to 100,000 over the course of 24 years it was nothing from death threat to I'm gonna I don't know what to you this and that and uh, you have no idea and uh, people watching this stuff in 95 at the top of this Tershkagara, this hill when they started doing that kind of stuff next to the house where two girls were brought up and that's where one of these memorial statues dedicated to the partisans is still and hopefully will stay there Uh, two girls watched Serbian Chetniks Russian KGBs Slovenian Udba people beating me up spitting on me threatening a life threatening humiliating lying lying just like you see inside of those books about a uh, false processes both of these girls as soon as they completed the school first one sister and then the second one escaped to Germany from a newly from independent Slovenian state independent since 91 independent on paper because of the horror they have seen and they established themselves for themselves in Germany a really decent life they got married there, uh, beautiful families, children. Memory on what they have done to me in Slovenia in a newly independent state was too fucking painful. Both of them, they just right in front of the church. So this video, this video is not uh, dedicated to me, this video is just dedicated to all the people who did something in a protest to this mindless violence that went on. Something that they have done it for the cost of their lives, knowing 
it will might be it will might result in a cost of their lives knowing there were people killed in, in Poland in Czech Republic in Slovakia in Slovenia in the United States in Russia and in Serbia I think they did too I do in Croatia in Bosnia probably in France in Britain they did dedicated to all of you that stood up for the human suffering with a black white yellow jewel those of you who have seen a human being in me rather than those who oftentimes were real Nazis and right in front of them those with whom these Nazis had war were just observing from the distance this is another proof that I know that you are not associated with anything with any kind of atrocities from the World War II is that none of the real Nazis, none of the people that were real Nazis have ever publicly expressed support for me. Those were always careful boy enough to stay in the distance. Uh, they would either quietly count and, and something like this could actually create something a bad uproar or on a first place they didn't consider me as a Nazi and it's just another proof because if they would they would they would they would express support for me and none of none of them ever did and that's why I know that all the people that if you did something whatever you did I know that you had nothing to do with it I know that the only thing that guided you to my table it was just a mercy it was just a act of sorrow for another human being an act of something that you felt was injustice that you protested against it was painful for you to watch enough for you to even commit yourself to something to protest even you know that's what it's all about, all this stuff that we see that sometimes looks uh, very unusual and it makes people do very unexplained uh, stuff. All of you, my friends, all of you were right for being human beings on the first place, then everything else. So that's all I wanted to say for this video. Um, I, I don't know these two guys, these two police officers I just want to say hello to you Miami guys and uh, I hope that the entire Miami police force is going to reconsider and think about the future dealings what actually they witness what actually you watch might not be exactly what it is It takes a broad mind, a really, really broad mind to understand the whole, if you don't understand the whole picture, um, either way, I hope that uh, people are going to learn from all over the world something on how to pursue reality is yes, definitely you shouldn't something you know it's not real you definitely should not pursue it as real that's one of the things that's definitely okay everybody knows for himself or herself you all take care of yourself out there and that's all I wanted to do I, I am 
I am thankful to all of you and this is a video I um, I dedicate to all of you for supporters people that declined to see it uh, any other way than as human should see in another human when he comes to suffering. That's all I want to say. Oh, God bless my father.